Okay, so my last podcast was a little confusing, so I wanted to set the record straight. I don't want anyone to think that we went to trial. There was no trial in James Damiano versus Bob Dylan for copyright infringement. The lawsuit was illegally dismissed in summary judgment by Judge Samandel. No judge or a lawyer in the world will dispute that. Summary judgment is Rule 56C of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, which states that a judge is not legally allowed to dismiss a lawsuit unless there is no genuine issue as to any material fact. The following letter was sent to me by Mark Taylor, who is one of the most prominent entertainment attorneys in the country. He states, James, thanks for the disclaimer. I think in general, all you need to show for copyright infringement is access and substantial similarity to avoid summary judgment against you, the plaintiff. There would have to be some dispute as to any material fact. In your case, it would seem that all material facts are in dispute and no judge should grant summary judgment in favor of Dylan. Further, the moving party has the initial burden proving that no genuine issue of material fact exists. So yeah, it seems Like there are a thousand facts in dispute in your case. And were I a judge, I'd never award summary judgment in favor of the other side. A judge is not legally allowed to dismiss a lawsuit unless there is no genuine issue as to any material fact. This is a videotape deposition of Elliot Mintz in the matter of Damiano versus Sony Music and Bob Dylan. Counsel, please introduce yourselves and state your appearances. Stephen Kramer for the plaintiff. Oren Snyder and soon to be joined by Stephen Hayes for Sony Music Entertainment and Bob Dylan. Uh, What is your profession, sir? I'm a media consultant. How long have you been in that profession? Since approximately, give or take, since 1975-76. 20 years. And how long has Mr. Dillon been your client, sir? Since, I believe, October of 1986, approximately 10 years. You've spoken with Mr. Damiano? I have. Have you ever lied to Mr. Damiano? Yes. And can you list for me the times that you lied to him? Um, First of all, all of my conversations with Mr. Damiano were uh, telephonic. Uh, To the best of my knowledge, I've never met him. Um, Many times, not many times, but on those occasions when he would ask me, could I pass on something to Mr. Dillon, I may have said to him, I'll try and pass it along, or words to that effect. 